Hi, welcome to Gramophone Music Studio YouTube channel. In today's video will be ABRSM Practical Grade versus Performance Grade, which is better, and their pros and cons. Before we begin, you should check out our previous videos about ABRSM exam information and the complete guide to ABRSM Performance Grade, so you will understand this video better in context. First of all, let's look at their similarity. They are equivalent in level and recognition. They share the same syllabus and overlapping. They both contribute UCAS points for UK college and university admission. And they have the same level attainments. And also the exam prerequisite for grade 6 to 8 applies. And here are their differences. In terms of exam mode, the practical grade is a physical exam with the examiner present whereas the performance grade is an online exam where the examiner is not present. The practical grade is assessed by live performance, whereas the performance grade is assessed by video recording. The practical grade contains all exam components including skills and arpeggios, set reading, and oral tests. Performance grade only contains pieces. For practical grade, candidates must choose three pieces from the syllabus, but for performance grade, they can select an own choice piece that is outside of the exam syllabus. The marks distribution is also different. In practical grade, the marks are given for every exam component. But for performance grade, 30 marks is assessed based on the overall performance instead of a different component. In practical grade exam, the venue and piano is provided by ABRSM. Whereas for performance grade, candidates can do it at any venue they prefer. There are two exam sessions in a year for practical grade in Malaysia. As for performance grade, it can be done every month of the year. No introduction is required for practical grade. But for performance grade, candidates will have to perform a pre-performance procedure which involves introduction of the candidate, exam pieces, and so on. The exam fees for practical grade is higher compared to performance grade, which is nearly 17% difference in Malaysian ringgit. There is no option for related instrument in practical grade, but strings, woodwind and brass candidates has the option to perform on related instrument in performance grade. In practical grade, the exam procedure is handled by the examiner and staff. Whereas for performance grade, the procedure is handled by the candidate or responsible adult. In terms of certificate, they are printed differently as practical grade and performance grade respectively. Now, let's move on to pros and cons of practical grade. One of the pros of practical grade is that it has a complete exam components. It provides a comprehensive evaluation on the candidate's musical ability and skills. In the practical grade exam, there is only one chance to perform the exam components, resembling live performance and the true essence of performing art. The venue and piano is provided so the candidates don't have to prepare on their own. It also trains the candidates to adapt quickly according to the acoustics of venue and also the piano provided. There is also no hassle of familiarizing with the procedures and video recording. The procedure is handled by staff and examiner, which means the candidates can focus solely on performance. The cons of practical grade includes limited exam sessions. There are external factors such as anxiety, uncomfortable with the piano provided, that could affect the candidate's performance on the spot. The practical grade also lacks flexibility compared to the performance grade, such as there is no own choice piece and related instrument. It also may not suit performance-oriented candidates, as it contains other exam components such as the skills and arpeggios and other supporting tests. Some candidates might have to travel far to the exam venue. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of the performance grade. It has high flexibility, such as the candidate can decide their own exam date, their own choice piece, their recording time and venue. 
Next, the candidates can also feel more comfortable to record using their own piano. It is also a better choice for candidates who are performance oriented. It is also possible to do multiple video recordings to achieve the best outcome. The examiner is not present in the performance grade exam, so it can be less stressful for candidates. The pre-performance procedure, which is the introduction, can help in communication and public speaking skills. There are more exam sessions, which is every month of the year. Candidates also have the option to perform on a related instruments. This is only for strings, woodwind and brass candidates. And moving on to the cons of performance grade. It lacks other exam components. The candidates may not have adequate skills when it comes to performing skills, sight reading or oral. The video recording can also be time consuming. Extra costs might incur for studio and piano rental if candidates don't have a suitable venue or piano or they might require piano accompaniment. The recording device and equipment has to be prepared by the candidates. The recording procedure is handled by the candidates or responsible adult. They have to be very familiar with all the recording guidelines or it can cause infringement. The exam result may not truly reflect the candidate's ability in live performance. In conclusion, the practical grade and performance grade are designed with different emphasis. Since they are equivalent in value and interchangeable, you should select the exam most suited to your target, need and priority. You can switch between the two exams to gain the benefits of both. And here is my advice. If you would like to be all-rounded and want a strong foundation in music, go for practical grades. But if you are performance-oriented and prioritize flexibility, go for performance grades. Keep in mind you can always switch between these two exams. That's pretty much all we have to cover for these two exams. You will download the printable PDF of this video from link in description. Like and drop us a comment if you've got the questions or if you find this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel for more contents. All information is correct by the date of publication. In the event of any discrepancies or inconsistency, ABRSM's information shall prevail. Now, thanks for watching and see you next time.